In Imperial China, one of the important tasks that the emperor needed to do was to ensure the continuation of the dynasty, which was achieved through the production of a male child. For this purpose, the emperors of Imperial China kept a massive harem of women. There was a hierarchy in the emperor's harem, and whilst the specific ranks varied over the millennia, it can be generally stated that there were three main positions, the empress, consorts, and concubines. Additionally, the eunuchs who served and protected these imperial women could be considered to be a part of this harem as well. Today we'll explore the imperial Chinese harem system. At the top of the hierarchy of the imperial Chinese harem was the empress, who was the emperor's one official wife. The empress was the most respected and revered figurehead for women in China, as she was considered to be the mother of the world. In the harem, only the emperor and the mother of the emperor were above the empress, all other individuals had to obey her commands. Furthermore, there existed the rank of empress dowager, bestowed upon empresses who outlived their husbands. Notable empress dowagers include Wu Zuqian of the Tang dynasty, who later became China's first female emperor, and Cixi of the Qing dynasty. Below the empress were the consorts. The number and ranks of the consorts varied depending on the ruling dynasty. Throughout the Qing dynasty, for instance, an imperial harem would consist of one imperial noble consort, two noble consorts and four consorts. Beneath these consorts were the concubines, and the number of concubines differed according to each emperor. According to research by the rights of Jew, an emperor could have up to nine high-ranking concubines, 27 middle-ranking concubines, and 81 low-ranking concubines. However, during the Han Dynasty, which spanned from 206 BC to 220 AD, there were no set restrictions on the number of consorts an emperor could have. And during the reigns of Emperor Huan and Emperor Ling, there were over 20,000 women residing in the Forbidden City. Women were selected as Shunu for the harem as early as the Jin Dynasty and the selection criteria ranged from emperor to emperor. In the Ming Dynasty, for example, no household was exempt from the selection. According to statutes, all young unmarried women went through Shunu selection process. Only girls who were married or with certified physical disabilities or deformities were exempt. The selection process would take place inside the Forbidden City every three years. Candidates ranged from 14 to 16 years of age were chosen based on their background, virtues, behavior, character, appearance and body condition. To ensure that any child born in the harem was fathered by the emperor, Males were prohibited from serving the women in the emperor's harem. The only exceptions to this rule were the eunuchs, men who had undergone castration, thus rendering them impotent. Throughout the history of imperial China, eunuchs played various roles in serving the imperial family, as servants in the harem. Far from being mere servants, however, these eunuchs could aspire to positions of power and wealth by involving themselves in the politics of the harem. During the Ming Dynasty, an astonishing number of 100,000 eunuchs served the emperor and his harem. With so many women in the imperial harem, it was inevitable that rivalries amongst the emperor's women would arise, as they competed for the emperor's attention. The most highly sought-after position was undoubtedly, that of the empress, and bearing a son for the emperor was considered a significant advantage for a woman in the harem. At times, ambitious women in the harem who plotted against their rivals would form alliances with eunuchs. If an intrigue was successful, a woman in the harem could rise through the ranks, and subsequently rewarding the eunuchs who supported her by granting them positions of authority. Such harem intrigues have happened often in Chinese history. One notable example occurred during the Tang Dynasty when Wu Zuqian, one of Emperor Gaozong's consorts, allegedly orchestrated the murder of her newborn child and falsely implicated Empress Wang. Consequently, the Empress was demoted, and Wu Zuqian ascended to become the new Empress. 
However, it is important to note that not all imperial harems were hotbeds of conspiracy. In the case of the semi-mythical Huangdi, for instance, he had four concubines who were chosen not based on their looks, but for their competence. One of his secondary concubines is regarded as the inventor of cooking and of the chopsticks, whilst another is believed to have invented the comb. Together, these concubines played significant roles in assisting Huangdi in governing the country. Unfortunately, many concubines faced a grim fate upon the death of their emperor. They were often sacrificed, sometimes being buried alive, to accompany their master into the afterlife.